Hi, welcome to the second video of the series, this time from the other side of my room. So after I showed you in the first video what you will be able to do with Hasty after completing all of the tutorials in this series, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get started and create your first own project within Hasty. So, to create a new project, you just need to click on the Create New Project card in your workspace and put in a name, so I just call it Tobias Awesome Demo, I forgot the, this thing here, and a small description so that you afterwards know what the project is about. And I just say YouTube Tutorial. So now we can click on Create and we land in the project settings. So after giving your project a name, it's time to create the classes for the project. So which classes to create obviously depends on your use case. But generally speaking, there are three types of annotation strategies you can do. So either you do instant segmentation, semantic segmentation, or object detection. I put the link in the description for you, describing the differences and helping you to choose the right one for you. But if you're a bit unsure anyways before you start, I recommend to do instant segmentation in the beginning. Because converting labels which were created for instant segmentation to labels for object or semantic segmentation is actually quite easy afterwards, but the other way around can be quite hard. So I'm going to create the first class now. Let's assume that we work in quality assurance for manufacturing and we're trying to find defects on a given material. So I'm going to create a class and call it defect because that's what we're trying to annotate after all. And it will be an object class because I want to do instant segmentation. So to add rules, I come in a second and save it for now. And now let's assume we don't only want to find the defect, but also say how bad it is. So for this, I'm actually going to use an attribute so that we say it's like a grade of the defect. So how bad it is it from the level from 1 to A. And it should be a single choice attribute that you just get a drop down menu in the annotation environment. And the values for the drop down should be A, grade B, and grade C. And I'm going to add a small description here so that the project is a bit more organized. And last but not least, I just assign it to the class which we're going to use here, the defect. Now we have everything we need to go for this project here. But in theory, for your own project, you can create as many classes and attributes as you want. Using classes and attributes, instead of creating three classes for the three grades of defects, allows us to break down the task into two smaller tasks. So first, we're going to try to find the defect and then assess like the grade to it. This will allow us to train two different models and chain those later on in the process. I will dive deeper into this in the video where I explain how our assistants work. For now, let's go ahead and see how we can upload images to our project. To organize your images, you can use different datasets. We always create this default dataset for you, but I'm going to add a new one, call it batch one, because I anticipate that I'm going to upload more images later on in the project. Datasets are a bit like folders. And so now that I created my dataset slash folder, I can choose it here and upload the images I want. I already selected a folder here on my Mac, just press enter, and they're all getting uploaded now. So now after defining my classes and uploading all the images, the button here got unlocked and I could start annotating. But before I do that, I'm actually going to walk you through the other settings as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to invite my friends, colleagues, whoever I want to work with on the project. First of all, I need to specify the role for the user. I'm going to say this person should have your only access, then type in the email address here, hit enter, and now the person gets an email with a link to sign in into the project. As easy as I can add the person, I can remove him or her as well. So just hover over the name, press the X, confirm, and now the person doesn't have access to the project anymore. But please keep in mind that all of the persons in your workspace can access the project as well, and it's not possible to remove them afterwards. So this is why you see all of the people here, because they're part of our hasty demo workspace and can see the project consequently. When you scroll down, you can specify the roles for your project. Very granularly, you can define which person should be able to do what. So for example, we could add a new role here, call it export only change the color to orange because we already have the blue and now say that all of what the person should be able to do is to export the annotations. Now scroll down even more, save the changes and now when we want to add a new person we can select the role in the drop down here. So now that everyone is on the project let's have a look at the next step in the settings. 
so on this screen you can input annotations which you already created. They could be either created in Hasty or with, on, with any other annotation tool in the market. All you need to do is to convert the JSON to the Hasty JSON format. I put the link in the description of our docs where we explain how you can do this. So the next setting is automated labeling. So right now when you start a project, you can't do anything here as we only unlock it after you annotate it quite a lot. So if you want to know more about automated labeling, make sure to check the last video I created. Next are the advanced options. Actually, it's only one setting. You can specify if the assistant should generate polygons or masks. I'm going to make an extra video on these topics, so let's skip it for now and move over to the last point, the project summary. So on this screen, we show you some information about your project. For example, like how many images does it have, how many labels did you create, and how much time you spent on it. So now, you know everything what there is to know about projects in Hasty. So now we finally can start annotating and creating our dataset. When we click on the button, we land in the annotation environment, and the next tutorial I'm going to show you around and also show you how to create your first label using a manual tool and how to unlock the assistance so that you can automate the process. See you soon, and don't forget to like and subscribe.